this is where I, like everyone else right now, spend 99% of my time at home. I'm either right here in my spot in the living room, cooking and cleaning in the kitchen for my roommates, out smoking a cigarette in the backyard, or feeling very stuck in my tiny crowded room. I feel stuck a lot these days. Stuck at home, stuck in my head, just stuck. Uh, normally, I'm really chipper and cracking jokes left and right, but I haven't done that in a while, and I haven't been happy in a while. So that kind of has me thinking about humor as a coping mechanism. Most of my days all look the same. I've been depressed, constantly exhausted, my anxiety goes through the roof at a drop of a hat. Um, I just feel like I haven't seen the world in color in a long time. Recently though, I've had to read a book called Kitchen by Banana Yoshiboto in my literature class, and broadly, it's all about grief and coping and the importance of finding light in life. What struck me is that the heroine doesn't heal in a linear, steady way. She falls into darkness every once in a while, but always turns to her passions to bring light back into her life. It's a lovely novel, and it pointed out to me that I have been living in my own darkness for a while now, and at some point I just stopped looking for light. With this in mind, I've been trying to start to consciously evaluate how I'm using my time. I may not be able to physically go out and hang out with my friends, but I can spend time with them online. I used to love to read. So I'm trying to set aside time each day to pick up a good book. Instead of doom scrolling on my phone, I'm actively seeking out media that I enjoy, like video games and shows that make me laugh. I find a lot of light in humor, and I've noticed that the less that I laugh, the less okay I feel. So I want to try to laugh and inspire laughter in others as much as possible. Humor is a legitimate healing tool. A good belly laugh stimulates blood circulation and releases endorphins that help us relax both emotionally and physically. What we're laughing at matters too. It's important to be mindful of the jokes we make and laugh at because humor isn't always a constructive coping mechanism. According to Dr. Rod Martin, there are four humor styles, affiliative, uh, self-enhancing, aggressive, and self-defeating. Affiliative humor builds relationships and puts people at ease. People with this humor style frequently share jokes with others and can laugh easily when little things go wrong. People who use self-enhancing humor can always find the funny things in life, even when they're alone or hurting. They use it effectively to cope during hard times and tend to be emotionally stable. People who use aggressive humor tend to make offensive jokes or laugh at others in a mean or disparaging way, usually as a coping mechanism to help their own sense of self-esteem. The fourth and final humor style is self-defeating humor. People with this humor style tend to make themselves the butt of jokes to make them feel more accepted or to hide their own feelings. Humor is a good tool for coping and connection when used mindfully, and I want to use it to bring more light into my life.